So you think you're ugly. Well, as you can see by these two photos that are taken about a year apart, you're probably not that ugly. And I, I just took this photo on the right. I look way better in person. I actually recently have started getting looks again uh, for the first time in a long time. I've never been that physically attractive, but I've started getting looks again. And it's because of a few tips that I'm gonna share in this video. And as you can tell, even though they're a little crooked and uh, things aren't great, you can tell I look like a fat fuck on the left and it's really only a 15 pound difference. So it's not just weight loss that will fix your face. And so I want to tell you how I got more of a jawline, how I became more attractive over the course of the last year. I think this will really help you, especially for you guys that actually are coping on that black pill bullshit saying that it's, you know, I don't get girls because I'm not attractive enough. So in this video, I'm going to cover why you're an ugly ass motherfucker. I'm also going to talk about foods that will make your face look like shit. And I'm also going to show you how to eat for clear skin and weight loss. First, here's why you think you're ugly. First, your body fat percentage directly impacts your facial structure. If you are fat, you cannot complain about being ugly, probably good looking. All right. And even if you are fat, there are some grooming tips and stuff. If you want me to make videos on grooming tips that I picked up on to make myself look better, um, I have some shorts on it, but you can also drop a comment down below. And I guess explain all the little looks hacks that I've come up with for, you know, making myself look better personally. Another thing that a lot of guys get caught up in is they're just like, oh, well, I'm skinny fat. I just got to put on muscle. If you're skinny fat, it means you're fat. It means you have fat on your body. You just don't have any muscle and it's still going to fuck your facial structure. Okay. So don't think that because you're skinny fat, that you're immune from this. You need to fit like you need to not have a gut. You need to not have a fucking double chin. Okay. It's unacceptable. If you want to be attractive, you cannot have that. And attractive people win in this world. And that's just how it is. And every guy watching this video, you can be attractive enough to get girls and to be successful, to be considered an attractive person. You're just too much of a pussy to actually make the changes. If you want to look better, your skin needs to be better too. You need to have clear skin. You need to cut down on inflammatory foods. So your face isn't all puffy and shit like that. So I'm going to talk about that a little bit more. Here's stuff that'll make your face puffy. If I go back to this picture, a lot of that was just because I was eating inflammatory foods. I wasn't that much heavier in that picture. I was probably maybe 15 pounds heavier than I am right now, maybe 20, but it wasn't like a ton. And just for context, fat, like weight spreads out on me a lot. I'm very tall. And so, you know, 20 pounds, it's not that big of a difference. So cut out alcohol. It's going to fuck everything. It's going to fuck your recovery. It's going to fuck your training. It's going to fuck your ability to do cardio. It's going to fuck your ability to have any sort of willpower when it comes to not eating tons of salty bullshit, like Chinese takeout and chips. You need to cut that stuff out. You need to cut out alcohol. It's literally killing all your progress. Cut it out. You don't need it for confidence. You don't need it to talk to girls. You don't need it for any reason. It's literally poison. If you're in a growth phase of your life, never drink. There is no point in fucking drinking. Drinking's fine. I like to drink sometimes with my friends, but I only do it at most once a month, if not less, because it is not fucking worth it. And my life is so much better without it. Third, you need to cut out the hyper-processed sugar, all the snack cakes, all the candy, all the bullshit, at least for a while. All right. I still have, I have some fucking nerds from Christmas. Uh, my wife, she has these candies. Um, I actually have not been eating those, but I'll have an Oreo every now and then. I'll have bullshit, dude. I'll eat, I'll eat a whole pint of Ben and Jerry's ice cream. Like I'll go crazy, but I installed healthy habits first. Like I walk every day, burn 300 calories in the treadmill every single day, no matter what I lift every day. I eat very specific foods that I'm going to show you during the day so that I can eat whatever I want at night. And it helps me stay on track. And by no means do I have abs, but I'm looking way fucking better. Like I'm putting on some muscle mass. All right. I'm looking better. And you know, the bad part about being tall also is like, I don't put on weight well. You know, I put on fat, but I don't put on muscle super well. It really spreads out. So cut out all the hyper-processed stuff. All this stuff will cause inflammation. It'll make your face puffy. It'll give you bags under your eyes. It'll fuck with your sleep. It'll ruin a lot of stuff. And I'm not saying that you have to do this all the time, but you shouldn't be eating a bunch of sugar, like 500 to 800 calories of sugar every single day. You shouldn't be eating 800 calories of whatever bullshit chips every single day. That you shouldn't be doing that because I even notice whenever I eat hyper processed stuff that it totally fucks everything in my face. My physique looks worse the next day. I don't look as lean. I don't look as good. And you don't want that effect all the time. So here's what to eat instead. If you want to lose weight, 
which if you're still watching the video, you probably do at least a little bit. You need to lose at least five, 10 pounds to start to get some sort of a chiseled jawline. First, you're gonna need to just be eating high protein. And I'll get into like balancing out your face with the physique, but you're gonna wanna eat high protein. It's not gonna inflame you. It's not gonna keep you all puffy looking. Uh, carbs are typically gonna be more inflammatory. And also just eating too many calories is gonna be, you know, it's gonna literally fatten you up, right? Here are a few things that I really like. I like the anabolic egg white French toast from Greg Doucette. We'll look that up on YouTube very fucking good. It's about like 450 calories for four pieces and about 45 grams of protein. There's also Greek yogurt bomb from Alex Ramosi. That thing is crazy. He has a recipe. Alex Ramosi has a recipe video. That is amazing. I've been eating half of one of those, half of one of those containers of non-fat Greek yogurt for breakfast and half for lunch. And I go into my evening with like only eating 600 calories total and like 90 grams of protein. And then I'm like eating whatever I want. As long as I have some meat to put up enough protein in my body, like I'm good. Beef jerky is really, really good, high protein. And so is low fat cheese sticks. Those are really good as well. Anything that's generally 10 to one calories to protein. So if it's hundred calories, it's 10 grams of protein, probably pretty solid. And it's probably gonna keep you pretty full. The third thing that you need to do is just track your calories, man. If you actually want to stop being a fat fuck, track your calories. And if you're not getting results, it's because you're not tracking your calories. The main issue that 90% of guys see is that they think they're eating enough. I literally had a client in town like two weeks ago and he got a Chipotle bowl. I told him, dude, I bet that's 1300 calories. Why are you eating that? And he's like, no, I bet it's like 800, 700. I did the math. It was 1300. And it was like 40 grams of protein. It was like no protein because he's like a vegetarian. So it was just like rice and beans and yeah, beans are okay protein, but like, they're not going to beat meat. They're not going to beat Greek yogurt or any other like, like egg whites, anything like that. You got to track your calories. You got to know what you're putting in your body. If you don't know what you're putting in your body, you're like completely fucked. Okay. When you think about it, girls are doing 10 times more bullshit than we are to be attractive. Girls are doing so much to be attractive and we can't even track our fucking calories. Like get over yourself. If we want to have girls in our lives that are looking hot, like all the time, then like, it's totally fine for us to be fucking trying. It's totally fucking fine. Some other tips that I've picked up on, I've never really had trouble with my skin. I'm about to have to start moisturizing more because I can tell I'm starting to age and look a little older, which, you know, I want to slow down that process as much as I can. But a big problem that a lot of guys have is that they don't moisturize, their skin looks dusty. I definitely moisturize like my elbows and stuff. But obviously, this video is about your face. Eating tons of seed oils. Seed oils will cause acne if you eat too much of them. I know I break out if I eat too much ramen, like the, the packaged ramen. I break out a lot. If I eat too much sugar, I start breaking out pretty much always over the winter. Uh, for a long time, I used to, you know, go crazy with the candy and pop off with, with all the sugary treats. And I would get like acne on my nose. I just wouldn't moisturize as my face, it would be really fucked up. So that's like the main thing that you need to worry about. But you also need to balance out a good face with a nice physique as well. That's really, really important. Lift heavy shit. I'm not going to go into like how to get bigger in the gym. There's so much fitness content out there on like how to how to actually put on muscle, how to drop fat. But these are my tips on how I fix my face because like I, I literally went in the last year from this fucking fat fuck over here to this guy on the right. And the guy on the right is significantly more attractive, especially, you know, when I'm dressed well and uh, trying, you know, it's to the point where like I'm I'm starting to get looks again. And uh, it feels nice. Like girls walking around telling me I'm attractive and stuff. It feels good to have that happen. And that was not always the case. And just so you know, I was still getting girls <laughs> in this left state, but uh, it wasn't good. All right. I'll see you guys in the next one. Send this to your fat cousin, Larry. Okay. He needs it. He's a virgin. He hasn't talked to a girl in 10 years. Send this to him. He needs this. He's being a fat fuck and uh, no fat fucks. All right. Stop being fat.